Today, I'm going to be breaking down the fastest way to upgrade your ball player in MLB The Show 23 and how you can use your ball player pass to cash in on a ton of stubs and XP to give you a ton of progress in Diamond Dynasty. Now, your ball players do look a little bit different this year, mainly just some UI differences, but there are some path differences as well. So when we come right up, I'll come up to my name right here. We can see the Joe Random, and I can see my current active ball player, and I can scroll down. I can see the skill set that he's on. I'm here into my Diamond Path right now, and just to show you off some of the rewards that you can earn through this diamond path i haven't quite worked through this hitter one yet but i'm getting 1500 xp quite frequently i'm getting stubs and i'm getting diamond equipment diamond of perks some more xp some more stubs there is a ton of rewards in this through each path we're getting 35,000 xp two things of diamond equipment and 10 diamond perks guaranteed you got the chance to get some more as well because there are some silver or better equipment packs in here too that you could pull even something better out of and this year there are 19 different paths that you could do giving you upwards of 669 thousand xp alone not including all the equipment and stubs and extra you're earning along the way those xp you're going to turn into more subs as well as of the return of the xp reward path you're going to want to work through that to get those rewards sell those rewards use them on their team however you go about doing that that is going to be super valuable our ball player is going to be a big part of that the first one i've been working through has been a hitter one but i will say hitters are probably going to be your slowest out the gate and what i would focus on is actually our two-way paths this year because with our hitters as we can see we go down into the missions we have the pretty standard missions 15 hits seven extra base hits and we get one mission here five extra base hits which is a one-time reward of 10 bonus points which gives you a nice little kickstart in that program but outside of that we're having to get basically 15 hits seven extra base hits and 30 plate appearances at three points a time to work our way through to the end and get to the 100 level and beyond that even getting some of these extra diamond equipment diamond perks some stubs and xp through this it's going to take us quite a while to work through that now if i come in here and i press see all ball players i got quite a few going on right now so we have another joe random right here who is a starting pitcher and first base i'm gonna load him up and let's look at what his archetype looks like we'll go to the task and rewards i'm still here on the bronze i've already worked through one but if you notice in the road of the show missions everything is doubled not only can i get inning pitch and strikeout progress i'm also getting plate appearances put outs assists which is there on our hitters as well 12 hits five extra base hits to progress to that and i'm getting two of these bonus 10 point missions when i get another strikeout i'm already going to be at 20 here in this bronze program and i'm getting my innings pitch strikeouts relatively quickly and we're going to get hits and extra base hits basically every time that we hit you should be batting close to a thousand with this method and i'll get into a game here and show off the exact method here in a second but with the additional missions we have with our two-way players we're going to be able to work through this a lot quicker and there are 12 unique paths for our two-way players so every time that we come in here right and we go through and i come to road of the show i do more options i'm starting a brand new road of the show this is how we want to start it right here i do have a saved roster i'll load that saved roster it is called stonks in the roster vault search up stonks it was made by my man cram an incredible community member that we have everybody is zero overall except for the yankees so we want to load in we want to be picked by the yankees and i'll go ahead and i'll create a new ball player when doing this and if i go to two-way player you will see i'll pick a velocity break or control i'll pick a pitcher archetype for this one we will do control and let's do power with that as well every single one of those combinations with our pitching and hitting archetypes is its own unique reward path here this year will be starter will be a first baseman That's that doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter what we look like as well we'll get through this little intro screen i will say if it's crashing on you just let it, it play like for a second and then you can go through and skip you want to come in here you can just kind of press through this uh, i'm the best there's nobody like me now when you get to the third option you just want to scroll down and say no i prefer to play for a different team and then you just want to come in here choose the yankees as you can see they're first overall and everything they have their full team entire roster everybody else is going to be one overalls we'll go to the mlb draft We'll be drafted by the Yankees and we'll be starting our career. So now that we've been drafted, we can see we also have our brand new ball player that's active here. And if we go down to our task and rewards, this is its own brand new unique path. And we have the same missions here. So any pitch, strikeouts, hit, extra base hits, 
strikeouts again the stolen bases put outs and assists i don't mess with those at all i turn off my fielding opportunities i turn off my base running opportunities you can do those if you want but for me it's quicker to just go through bat every time and do my pitching progress now one thing that is going to help with the hitting progress a ton is if you're on an extra console you can download a creative stadium and come in here go to stadium assignment and change your home team stadium i've already gone through and created a minimum wall distance max elevation custom stadium to use it is called stonks as well it is beautiful in all its glory you will basically hit a home run every single time that you're playing here and as well your difficulty does not matter you can play on beginner the entire time hit a home run every time strike out every batter and get progress towards your missions no matter what now one thing to note with our hitter pass we'll come in here and look at these real quickly again before we hop in and show off a couple more things as you can see our 12 hits and five extra base hits both of these are repeatable but if you finish that within a game and then play the next game in a series without backing out to the main menu that mission will not roll over and start counting again so after every game just back out to the main menu that way you ensure if you got one of those missions done you'll be tracking it again for the next time and if you ever notice at the end of the game it shows a no progress happened to me a couple times after i got to the next year i added a silver or the gold archetype and started that path i was getting no progress go ahead and just restart your console and it should start tracking at that point in time but we'll show you what it looks like in game here as you can see i'm only 56 overall we don't even have any equipment equipped on this guy we'll play our next game here we are first game first day b it's on beginner it's down the middle every time and wow i didn't hit a home run that's so sad but we should be able to get an extra base hit still you don't have to hit a home run you just need an extra base hit because there isn't a bonus for hitting a home run you just need those extra base hits so boom extra base hit right there I'll basically do that every AB and we'll be chilling this game. Now, one thing to think about as well is I know that that mission for extra base hits is to get five extra base hits and then it stops counting anymore, right? I can't roll that over. I just hit my fourth home run this game and it's only the bottom of the fifth inning. So when I hit my fifth extra base hit, I'm gonna go ahead and sim out the rest of the game. That way I can hop back in the next game and have my extra base hits be counting once again. Same if you were pitching, if you hit that strikeout total that you need for that mission, you can go ahead and back out load back in again the next time that way you're not wasting any strikeouts or in this case wasting any extra base hits that i get so there's five right there we'll go ahead and come in here simulate and exit the rest of the game we'll skip it we win that game 16 to 1 and again this is where we don't want to play next game if i started playing next game my extra base hit mission would not restart for me but the only way to get that to start counting again is to come in here confirm exit back all the way back out and then we'll load back into another game so you can see just one game we got our one extra base hit for the 10 points and then our five extra base hits for the additional three points now of course we'll run into getting these 12 hits and 15 plate appearances as well and eventually we're going to get some starts on the mound where we can start looking at getting our six innings pitched and 10 strikeouts now one thing you want to pay attention to this year i got one right out the gate here are the dynamic challenges if you notice in the inning with allow, uh, without allowing a run, I'm getting an additional three program stars. Those hey, are my program prints. Right or I can end an inning without allowing a run and at least record 1K. We'll just do it without allowing a run. We should be able to do that really easily. And that is going to give me bonus progress towards this program. For pitching here, I'm just using classic as well. There's no point in having to put in our extra yeah. button presses. All these guys are zero overall. I'll, I'm going to get through this game pitching right here, and we'll see what our progress is at after just one game hitting and one game pitching to start here with a bronze archer type now one thing i haven't done with this pitcher and i need to do as well is equip a faster wind up get a couple guys who pitch out of the stretch you can actually come in and slide step even with nobody on base so find you a pitcher that does not pitch out of the windup at all equip that as your guy and you can slide step pitch a little bit faster and save you that little bit of time as you're grinding through all right we got through our six innings there we'll go ahead we'll simulate and exit out of the rest of this game let's see our progress after our first start so one game hitting one start on the bump where are we at progress wise with this first program obviously we're gonna move a little bit quicker through these bronze programs just give you an idea maybe like 10 minutes of grinding here let's see where are we at on the program already 32 points in we got both of our tempo missions done we had our bonus three mission and then we got another six on top of that so 32 points in after just two games we're gonna move through this pretty quickly obviously it'll slow down now 
because 20 of that was from our bonuses but you get quite a few dynamic challenges as well i've been averaging about one per game even sometimes more for that on occasion the little hit or miss obviously you're gonna get unlucky and possibly fail some as well and that's what we're doing right there we have this setup now it's all about grinding through and of course once i get to this point and i get the painting slugger i gotta equip that i'll go ahead and restart my app to be safe and then start grinding through that rinse and repeat once i get all the way through the diamonds here well then i put together another two-way archetype combination and start grinding through that and just to show you the value of xp if you got the 220,000 xp right now you got this pass back uh we could look at a guy like bob gibson 225 on the buy now devin williams no buy now at all you can put him up for a million subs if you wanted to ricky henderson also no buy now uh lindor 191 on the buy now so several hundred thousand stubs if you come in and get this boss back that's the same as getting a 90 plus live series card pool you can either use this card on your team or turn those into stubs help you knock out some of those live series collections i hope this video was helpful if it was definitely be sure to leave a like on and subscribe on this video if you have any comments hit me up down in the comment section below until next time i'll catch y'all around